So what we're going to do now is just film the second part of our little series about Tenkara fishing. In part one we explained about rods, we explained about um, how we extend and close the rod and how we attach the leader and generally what Tenkara fishing is all about. Today we're going to look at fishing techniques, casting techniques and playing fish. Okay, Tenkara casting technique is fairly straightforward. In a lot of ways it's intuitive and it's particularly handy for beginners to river fishing because it is uh, intuitive in that way. And the cast itself is, I describe it as being an aerial roll cast if you can imagine. With the roll cast we're just snapping the wrist to roll the line out onto the water and this is a similar technique. So the back cast is going to be stopping really just before vertical and the forward cast about 45 degrees. So that would be the cast there. Now you can see the elbow is in close to the body. We don't want the elbow out here. Elbow close into the body and just that tap. We don't want, we want controlled movement of the wrist. We don't want it out of control like this, but you can see that there's a very distinct wrist snap and wrist movement and rotation at the beginning and end of the cast. So that's how we cast and get the most out of a Tenkara rod. With the different actions of rods from 5.5 um, five through to 7.3 typically, then all we would do with a 5.5, five, and if I extend this sawer to its full 15 foot, then it is a 5.5 five action, then we'd just really typically slow that down a little bit in order to allow the rod to fully flex during the casting sequence. But if we're up to a 6.4 um, or a 7.3 rod, then it would be a little bit snappier in order to direct that fly where it needs to go to. And with that technique, even with level line, then it can be extremely accurate. And of course, as we know, if, we, if we're fishing when it's a little bit windy, then we'll use a furl leader, which has got a little bit heavier uh, weight to it, uh, and, but still the casting technique is the same. It requires a little bit of practice, particularly if we're following uh, Sutabari technique where we're just kissing the water with the fly. The key to it is just stopping the rod in the right place to allow that fly to just kiss the water in front of us. Many a time when I see people that are starting off with Tenkara, they're bringing the hand down too low and they're uh, letting the, the line and the tippet land on the water itself. The advantage of Tenkara, even, even a bad Tenkara cast is arguably as good as a mediocre cast with a rod line and reel because you still haven't got the weight of the fly line that's disturbing the surface of the water. So it does require a little bit of practice but once you've got it then you're away and you're up and running and you're fishing effectively. And then in terms of fishing techniques we can use any method that we currently use with a rod reel and line setup because they're all based upon uh, a, a drift so we're drifting down with the flow of the river in order to avoid drag The difficulty is with rod reel and line, you've got the heavy fly line that attracts that drift. It's going to get dragged downstream with the current and will affect the fly. That's when Tenkara scores because in an ideal world when you're casting you keep the f everything except the fly off the water. And any method that you're currently using we can do with the Tenkara, uh, with Tenkara so we can nymph, we can uh, dry fly, we can cast upstream, downstream, across and down, uh, we can use spiders, we can use nymphs, we can check nymph, we can duo. But there are other bespoke Tenkara techniques that are well worth having a go at. And the first one would be where I'm casting and I'm letting the fly go down the water and I'm just twitching, if you see, almost slight movement with the handle and because the rod is so soft it's just flexing the tip and it's forcing our Sagasi Kabari, the reverse hattle fly, to just 
pulse that little more and add movement to what's happening. The other method is as we've cast and the fly is being taken downstream is every now and again to actually stop the rod dead and that will lift the fly up once it's lifted to the surface then start the movement again so we're tracking downstream with the rod tip but every now and again stopping the rod dead lifting the fly we're pulsing the fibers of the hattle um, and we're getting extra movement and again hopefully attracting fish the third method is what we call sutabari or uh, show the fly and this is where we are actually trying to mimic a hatch or trying to attract the attention of the fish and it's particularly useful if on uh, a day when you go fishing there isn't really any sort of rise and the way you do this is to actually cast above where you think a fish is lying and just kiss the water very gently maybe four or five times and then on the sixth occasion actually let that fly then drift over where you think the fish is likely to be. So playing a fish with Tenkara, obviously we cannot release line like we would do with a, a fly reel. So we need to be careful about how we do it. The key is always keep the rod at a 45 degree angle to the fish, whether that be vertical or horizontal. That dissipates all the power throughout the whole sections of the rod. And then play the fish as normal. The advantage of a soft action rod is it's a perfect fish playing tool. It will bend almost double. So don't be frightened of that fish playing. But if you need to move downstream or upstream to follow a big fish in particular, then that's what you have to do. Once you've played the fish and it's ready for netting or releasing the waste, you need to try and grab hold of the leader itself. The easiest way to do that is just to move the rod backwards. If you move the rod backwards, the leader has got to come to hand, it can't go anywhere else. Trap it with the index finger and that means the fish now is at your feet and you're able to net it uh, effectively. If you've got an extra long leader on, then you can retrieve or allow the fish to take line. Nice fish on Tenkara. So we can still retrieve, just like we would if we were still water fishing, and play the fish. So it's an easy method, you just need to get your head around it and don't panic, just let the fish play itself out. Yeah. 